In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the change scene behavior, which is right there in the list. They're alphabetical in here, don't forget. So in order to change scenes, we need to have more than one scene set up. Right now I just have my initial scene. So you can create a new scene as we discussed by pressing the plus button here. And when you do that, it creates an empty scene, literally nothing in it. There's nothing on stage. You still have access to all of your actors, of course. Those are independent of whatever scene or stage you're looking at. This actor inspector will always show all of the actors within the game. But I don't want to start with an empty scene. So I'm going to delete that. I want to make a copy of my initial scene. So I'm going to hold down my Option or Alt key, drag that, and make a copy of it. Now it calls it Initial Scene Copy. And you can rename this if you want. I'll call it Scene 2. Now when I double click it, you'll see right now it is literally an exact copy of scene one. All the same stuff is going on. Everything happens just as it does in scene one. In fact, there's my scene browser down here that shows all of your scenes. If I had a scene three, four, five, six, they would all list down here. And you can jump between them by double clicking on them when you're previewing the game. So you can preview multiple scenes at a time. But what I want to do for scene two is change it to a game over scene. So I'm going to delete all of the actors out of here except for the background. I still want the background to stay. And I'm going to add a new actor. I'm going to call this actor game over. I'm going to drag it onto the scene, place it right in the middle. And I'm just going to use this to display some text. So I'm going to change the alpha setting to zero so the white box doesn't show. It's just transparent, invisible. And then I want to display text behavior in here. I want it to say game over. And let's maybe make it blue since we're doing an ocean game, a water related game here. Let's make it like a dark blue. See how that shows up on screen. It's just a guessing game really. Let's pick a new font just for something different. Let's do American Typewriter. Make it pretty big so a player can't miss that their game has ended. Now let's preview this scene and make sure it looks all right. That looks like exactly what I had in mind. Just game over, exclamation point. Now, to get to that scene, remember in scene one, let's jump to scene one. Now that I have multiple scenes, this menu right here will list initial scene and scene two. So I can jump to my initial scene. You can also check in your window. Right here it says I'm in the initial scene. So when the submarine hits the sea urchin and is destroyed, I want to add a second behavior here underneath the destroy behavior. And I want to add the change scene behavior there. I'm going to go to the next scene. I don't want to enable advertisement. If you were doing a mobile game and you're a paid or pro member where you can use advertisements, you can turn this on and off. I want it off. It wouldn't show anyway in my game salad production environment. So what's going to happen now when this hits the sea urchin, this is going to be destroyed and then the game will change to the game over scene. Let me hit that. Boom. I hit the sea urchin and now you can see scene two is highlighted and it says game over. So to change scenes within your game for any reason, whether you're, it's because your player dies and you want to go to a game over scene, or maybe they reach the end of a level and you want to go on to level two or level three, whatever you need to do to change scenes, all you need to do is use the change scene behavior and then choose which scene you want to go to. You can also choose them by name. They're listed here by name. 
So that's it. That's all there is to know about the change scene behavior.